How's it going? If you've ever gotten your heart broken, or perhaps someone fell out of love with you, either when you were dating them or when you were in a relationship with them, and you're wondering, how do you keep this person around? Or how do you keep someone interested in missing you? Then this video is for you. How's it going? It's Felipe, founder of The Social Buddha Method. And in this video, I want to share with you five things that might be repelling people that you're dating or that you're in relationships with and how to make them miss you. All right, mistake number one is giving someone else responsibility and power over your happiness and over your self-love. You are the only one responsible for that. So coming into a relationship or coming into dating a new person and holding them responsible for your happiness is a lot of responsibility and it's certainly something that they will never live up to. So begin taking responsibility by being happy now, by feeling attractive, by loving yourself, speaking well to yourself and really coming from that place so that when you are in a relationship or when you do start dating someone, you are coming from a powerful stand where you're contributing to the relationship rather than trying to withdraw happiness and being needy about the love that you need and attention and so forth. So that is something you want to shift in the way that you interact in your intimate relationships. All right, mistake number two is making your life all about the other person. You need to create a life that is incredible for you, that has purpose, and be on purpose. When you create a life that is fully on purpose, where you're doing what you're passionate about, and that sort of thing, that is incredibly attractive to other people. And also, you come in already fulfilled. It goes along with tip number one in regards to not giving responsibility to someone else about your happiness. This is about not giving someone else responsibility for your life. So live your life, you know, be inspiring, have a purpose in life. And, uh, and if you don't have one, find one. Figure out what you're passionate about. And that is what people are attracted to. And that's many times the differentiator between someone thinking that you might be just another person or someone that is incredibly special. It's because you are feeling like you're living your purpose. That's why. All right, mistake number three is changing who you are for another person or lowering your standards or changing your standards and values for another person. That is a big mistake because you lose yourself within a relationship and you lose yourself within, within any interaction with any person, really, not just with the opposite sex. So in this case, you want to know what your standards are for, uh, as a guy, for example, for women, what you're willing to put up with. Uh, not beyond the looks, beyond the personality, what are your standards for how you want a relationship to be or a situation or your dating experience to be and go from there and don't accept lower standards because it's not about your standards being scarce. It's about if someone is not, um, how would you say, compatible to your standards, then that might not be the best person for you. Again, it's not about them adapting to you either way. It's more about, are you guys compatible? And so when you know and you're authentic about who you are and what you're about, you can communicate that and see if you guys are compatible and go from there. All right, mistake number four is being predictable and boring. One of the biggest attraction killers is if you are always doing the same routine over and over. And I don't mean just day by day, but I'm talking about if you're being always the same. In other words, uh, some, uh, your significant other tells you to do something and you do it right away, or you're never really um, teasing them. Or Again, this is all about creating a little bit of a challenge. If someone tells you, if your significant other says, oh, can you do this? Uh, maybe you do it, but in a different way, surprise them. Um, but again, be a little bit unpredictable, be a little bit of a challenge. And, um, and there's nothing wrong with banter and teasing each other just to create, to continue to create attraction and continue to have a freshness in the relationship or even in your dating experience with, um, with this person. 
All right, mistake number five is over communication, especially on the phone. Now, this is one of the biggest mistakes that I see from a practical standpoint that most people make. So in other words, you're texting back and forth and you're going at it every single freaking day, or even before you get into a relationship, you're talking on the phone or you're texting back and forth. As a guy, you're always wondering why women are flaking on you. Well, you don't give them a reason to get together with you. You tell them everything on the phone instead of just leaving all this intrigue, that curiosity uh, for when you're in person. So the phone should be only to set up meets, that's it, to set up dates, if you will. Other than that, you are just simply meeting up and sharing what you wanted to share on the phone. That's what you wanna do. Do not fall into the idea that you need to communicate 24 seven, or even seven days a week, that if you miss a day, you're gonna lose them and they're gonna find someone else. These are all limiting beliefs that keep things very boring, very predictable, and they really don't have, don't add much spice to the dating experience or to the relationship, wherever you're at. Again, have an air of mystery, have an air of intrigue, and, um, and leave things for in, when you're in person. Do not over communicate. Now, all these tips that I've just given you and things to avoid don't just apply to the dating or your relationship uh, life. They apply to everything. It's about being on purpose. It's about being strong and knowing what you want. It's about having standards. It's about really uh, connecting with people more in person rather than over communicating on the phone. All this is applicable to your overall life in general. So now if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like it, subscribe to my channel, as well as hit the notification button, which is the bell thingy there. And, uh, and you have any, if you have any questions or any comments that I might have missed on this video, put them down below and I'd be happy to respond to those. Or uh, again, if you wanna share something that you know that I didn't cover, share it down below for everyone that's watching this video. All right, we'll talk to you soon.